Hi friends, it's Mari Clark here for Trinity Stamps. Today I'm going to be taking you through the process of creating an A2 size card. This is a sympathy card and it's a very clean and simple card for sure. The With Sympathy stamp set has this beautiful floral image that you see on the left and so many really wonderful uh, sentiments for a sympathy or kind and caring card that you might want to make and send. I'm going to start off here with some Nina cardstock. I have stamped out the, that uh, floral bunch and grouping as you saw in the past screen there and I'm going to go ahead and do some coloring here with my spectrum noir tri-blend markers I'm just using three different markers here the really cool thing about these markers is in each one of the markers you get three different shades of that color here you can see that I'm starting with the lightest color going in with the medium color to add some shading and I'm just using the lines that are on the stamp to help me decide where to put my shadows I'm using the darkest tones and that uh, darkest color which is that burnt orange to do the darkest areas in my shading and this is just a super super easy way to get a colored image for a project. I'm going to use an aqua cardstock base for my card today. I have another piece of white cardstock here that I cut into a rectangular shape here with a, a stitched die. Here's that floral image all cut out here now and I'm ready to start putting together my card. I've trimmed out the healing hug sentiment for my card here today and I am ready to go ahead like I said and put this together. I want to finish off and do a little bit of detail on this Nina uh, white cardstock panel here with a little bit of shimmery watercolor. This is just some gold shiny watercolor here. I'm just going to go ahead and add some water with my distress sprayer. Going to pick up a little bit of that pigment with my small watercolor brush and then I will just go ahead over to my cardstock and just do a little bit of really easy and simple splattering. I didn't want my background to be too busy or bold. I just want a really little bit of subtle sparkle and shine on the back or on the front of my panel behind or backing that floral image. So here you can see I'm just going to go ahead and continue to splatter that on. Once that's dry I will go ahead and begin the next step. Now I want to add a little bit of dimension to that card panel so I'm going to take my three quarter inch foam adhesive and I'm going to add strips of that to the back of this card front. I'm going to just go ahead and measure the strips here by using the back of the panel to guide me here. I'm just going to trim those off nice and straight. I will take the backing off of that foam adhesive and go ahead and stick that onto that aqua card base once I've got this uh, all done. I would also uh, like to mention here that maybe dimension isn't all that um, important to you. Maybe you don't want that extra little bit of thickness. I do like that it just adds a little bit of detail to my cards but if you are mailing the card and you're worried about it being too thick you certainly would not have to add that uh, foam adhesive to the back of your card front panel. Here you can see I'm also adding a little bit more dimension to my card by adding some foam squares to the back of that uh, floral piece. I really like how this is going to look. It just pops that floral piece up off my card front and of course those beautiful gold splatters are going to be behind there. This like I said earlier is a clean and simple card. Very 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 few details. It is super clean and simple which I really really like for a sympathy card. I love the color combination of the markers, not too bold and bright, just really subtle and pretty. Now I am going to go ahead and add my sentiment to the uh, little side area of my floral bunch and I'm going to do this again with a little bit of foam adhesive as well just to pop that up. Really love that healing hug sentiment. I think it's just a really nice sentiment for a card for someone that you're thinking of who might be going through a difficult time. And I've got that all ready to go now. I do want to take some of these really awesome crystal clear rhinestone mix embellishments from Trinity Stamps. I've already adhered those onto my card just using a little bit of liquid adhesive. You can see that that just adds a little bit more sparkle and shine to the card but it's really subtle uh, but yet it has a really awesome impact I think. I'm going to take a little bit of clear wink of Stella and add that to the centers of each one of my florals here just to give them just a little bit of subtle sparkle as well. Just a really quick and simple step that has a big impact as well. 
I am almost finished this card. I don't have a ton left to do. I do hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you will check out the links in the description box below to the products that I did use today. I'm going to just finish off my card with a tiny little bit of gold stickles and that is going to basically be it. I'm going to show you up close what this card looks like in the light. You can see all of that uh, sparkle to the card, just nice and subtle. Love how this turned out. Please make sure that you um, like and subscribe and make sure that you check out these other videos here that I have linked up for you to watch and check out Trinity Stamps in all of the other social media platforms. Have an amazing day guys, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.